Hello Commander, uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, power usage on your ship um, and what you can do to control it and regulate your power use. Uh, so it shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody that your ship has a power plant and that this generates a certain amount of uh, energy that is then used to power all the systems on your ship. Uh, obviously a stock ship will come with a power uh, plant that's uh, powerful enough to power all your ship's default systems. However, as you start to upgrade and change or add new systems to your ship, your stock power supply may not be enough. Um, a good case in point here is my current ship, the Eagle. Um, it comes as standard with uh, only two uh, weapons although it has three weapons hard points um, and it's easy to buy a third weapon and that take your power consumption uh, well over uh, what your uh, default power uh, plant can generate and if we look at the bottom right here of the uh, outfitting screen we see this little uh, table and the first column is power use uh, retracted 5.29 megawatts deployed 6.42 megawatts and available 6.40 megawatts. Um, I think this relates to uh, weapons uh, on ship. Obviously available uh, 6.40 megawatts uh, is uh, what my power plant is generating. Uh, and then the retracted and deployed columns, I think retracted refers to uh, your weapons obviously being retracted into uh, inside the ship's uh, chassis. So that's how much power is being used when your weapons aren't deployed. And then obviously the deployed column is how much power your ship's drawing when your weapons are deployed and active. And as you can see from my ship here, deployed being at 6.42 megawatts, that's 2 megawatts more than my available power supply. So, how do I resolve this situation? Never, never use my weapons would be one option. Not a particularly good one. Um, you can, of course, buy a new power plant. Uh, the station I'm currently docked at doesn't sell any. Um, and obviously, this also costs an amount of money, um, which you may not have straight away. So you might not be able to afford upgrading, a upgrading your power plant straight away, but you still want to be able to use your ship's weapon systems and other systems. So, we can do that. Firstly, though, I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you try and deploy your weapons when you don't have enough power. So we're just going to launch our ship. Give up. Retracting the landing gear. For anyone new to Elite Dangerous uh, and watching this video, uh, I'm using the um, Astra voice pack with voice attack to uh, do voice commands in game. I cost a few quid to buy both products and I think it adds to the immersion of the game. It certainly makes life a lot easier. You can keep your hands on your joystick or whatever and use the voice commands. So, just a little bit away from the station now. And remember, I haven't got enough power to run my weapons when I deploy them. So, let's see what happens when I deploy my weapons. Astra? Yes. Red alert. Deploying and readying weapons. So, we see here we've got a warning message, power limit exceeded, modules disabled. Uh, you also see in the right hand uh, top corner there underneath the info uh, that my auction is being depleted in 4 minutes uh, 40 odd seconds. Uh, so I'm slowly running out of air, which is not good. Uh, I've also got no power to the ship. I can't move forwards. If I set my throttle to full there, nothing happens. The ship is dead in the water. Now, if this happened when you were in about to engage in combat, you'd A look pretty silly and you'd B probably be pretty dead pretty fast. 
not a good thing. So, how You're do we welcome. fix this without buying a new power plant? Cancel Red Alert. Retracting all weapons. Firstly, the moment you uh, retract your weapons again, you'll regain all your ship's power. The moment your ship isn't uh, trying to power your weapons, it has enough power to run everything else, so everything comes back to normal. Now, if we go to our module screen here, which is the second tab along on the right hand side screen, uh, you'll see a list of all your ship's modules. And you can do one of two things uh, to give yourself enough power on the ship. Firstly, you can disable any module you want. Uh, so, for example, if we select cargo hatch and I press the spacebar, you'll see that the little uh, square on the left hand side next to the word cargo hatch uh, stops being highlighted. And that basically just switches off uh, that component of your ship. So, my preferred method uh, for altering uh, my power situation on my ship uh, isn't to disable. Um, the individual module, however it's to use the priority uh, bar which you can see um, as the penultimate option uh, on the module screen there. Now most things are set to priority 1. Priority 1 is the most important priority on your ship. Um, all priority 1 systems will remain powered at all times. Uh, now using the default keys uh, A and W uh, we can set different priorities uh, for each of our modules. So if I set the cargo hatch to priority 2, uh, I'll also set the frame shift drive to priority 2, uh, and that should be enough actually. Cargo wrap, I can't change. Discovery scan is already set to 2. Um, the higher the number, so 2, 3 onwards, um, the less important that system is on your ship. So for example, uh, a priority 3 system would be shut down uh, before a priority 2 system and so on. Um, so as it is, when I deploy my weapons, uh, my ship will try to find the power to power my weapons because they're priority 1, so they're more important, by shutting down those priority 2 systems. So let's just give that a go. So, red alert. Deploying and readying weapons. Now we still get the power limit exceeded message, but it also says modules disabled. And you'll notice that uh, I'm not running out of oxygen and I can fly my ship around, I've still got engine control and everything else. And if we just go into that screen again, we can see here on modules that those priority 2 systems have all been disabled. They're now red in colour and they've got a little uh, a crossed outline through their box on the left there. So you can see those systems are disabled. And that's fine, that's how we get enough power. So, in summary, if you haven't got enough power supply uh, on your ship for all the systems you want to run, you can of course purchase a new power plant, but if you don't want to do that right away, you can use the priority settings here in the module screen to assign priorities to your systems so that those most critical systems on your vessel don't ever shut down. Okay, as ever, I've been Commander Dreamwoven. Feel free to find me in game and say hello. Uh, please like and share this video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you like it. And uh, thanks for watching.